Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm about to uh, go hit this arm workout. Um, I'm at the gym already. I'm just kind of sit in my car because it's warm. I also think there's somebody in the gym, so I'm just kind of like waiting for pre-workout to kick in and then I'll head on in. Um, I currently hit arms two times a week um, because who doesn't want bigger arms? Um, mine obviously are, well, you'll see they're obviously lagging. Um, I hit um, biceps on my chest days and triceps on my back days and then on my shoulder days I double up on training sessions and hit I hit like I hit shoulders this morning so now I'm here back at the gym it's like four hours later so I got a meal or two in drank a lot of water you know replenish my muscles that type of thing replenish, replenish my energy um, and then I came I come back and hit just biceps and triceps uh, both both shoulders and arm workouts usually only take about like 35 to 45 minutes um, rather small muscle groups um, don't take too much volume just have to be effective with the exercises you use um so yeah i just wanted to introduce you to the video to this video um I'll pr assuming there is nobody in there or assuming that they'll leave relatively soon after i get in there i'll just set up the camera and then talk to you as i'm like like right before my set instead of doing a voiceover i like it that way it takes a lot less time because i can just plug the videos into the computer you know do a little bit of editing as i mentioned i'm training arms and uh in all honesty i already have um chest and back training like upload like not uploaded but it's into my um laptop the video is edited and everything is ready to go but i did a poll on instagram and uh the people voted that they wanted to see bicep and tricep training first so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this workout in edit it tonight hopefully get it uploaded by tonight I work later but I'll have a good decent amount of time um, so yeah we, we give the people what they want on this channel you know you guys voted so I'm gonna give you what you want. we're golden start it. all right start off the workout with uh, bicep tricep superset I'm starting off with some easy curl bar, reverse grip curls, going into some barbell curls with a regular grip, and then going into some reverse grip bench press. Um, you can do both bicep exercises with the barbell, but my puny little biceps are too weak to do reverse grip with it, so I use the easy, easy curl bar. Go for eight reps of each. The reason we do the uh, reverse grip first, move closer. Uh, the reason we do the reverse grip first is just because it'll pre-exhaust the uh, bicep brachii, which is the stronger portion of it. Just using a constant tempo, keep tension on the muscle. Notice I don't take the bar all the way down to my quad, just to keep tension on the, mic on the muscles. <laughs> During both the bicep exercises, you want to keep your elbows tucked and in a fixed plane of, like in a fixed uh, position. Just stabilize everything and pull through the bicep. One thing I'm focusing on, I'm not worrying about the weight that's in my hand. I'm just trying to shove my forearm directly into my bicep. Again, constant. Constant tempo, to keep constant tension. I don't suggest doing this without a spot, but I forgot to ask someone for one, so whatever. Track the scapula, keep your shoulders back. That's all one set. I prefer the reverse grip versus just regular close grip. Just feels better in my triceps and my elbows. If you prefer the other version, feel free to do it. Works the same portion. 
Um, like I said, I just prefer it because it just feels better for me. In this um, uh, machine preacher curl, uh, focus on driving your armpits into the pad, elbows into the pad throughout the whole motion. Well, drive your uh, uh, triceps and elbows in, and uh, you want to like pull through where your pinky is. So put, bear all the weight on your pinky instead of your palms, and that'll just activate the biceps. Going in this um, dual row tricep push down, I just use those two rows like this because it just uh, feels better on my elbows. So I'm like, okay. um, focus on keeping the elbows fixed. Push down and out. Don't push down and flex your wrist out. It doesn't cause any more stress activation. So you'll see how I push down and out all in one place. a constant tempo, you keep your scapula retracted, so pull down and back throughout the whole range of motion just to keep it, uh, just to stabilize the movement more and cause all the movement to go through the tricep. <laughs> you good? Yep. Alright, last two movements of the workout. Uh, so now we're doing incline dumbbell curls because when it's fully, when my biceps are fully they'll be fully lengthened, which is where they're strongest. So at the end of the workout, you can still get a lot out of the uh, movement. And then we're going into some dumbbell, or flat dumbbell tricep extensions, which again will fully lengthen the tricep in the stretched uh, part of the motion. Um, like I said, because you can still get some out, get something out of the movement at the end of your workouts. So again, keep the elbows fixed, nice and slow. Drive your forearm into your bicep and bearing the, as much weight as possible through the pinky. Kind of curl them up, curl your pinkies up as you bring in, bring up the weight. See you, Nick. <laughs> One thing here, you'll notice yeah. my elbows will be behind my uh, shoulder plane. Keep them right there. You want to keep your elbows as tucked as possible just for safety. Yeah. And then if you want to sway things up a little bit, you can take these to negative failure, so then you bring your elbows back in. Take the dumbbells to your shoulders as slow as possible. Roll them forward, push up like that. Just to up the intensity a little bit. Alright, I lied. I'm finishing with uh, some weighted dips. Just two or three sets of eight. Uh, basically, I use this as a bench accessory because it works all the same muscles in a different uh, range of motion. Um, my bench is weak as hell, so that's why I do uh, this, essentially. If I get good at this and be able to do, like, double my body weight, my bench should definitely go up. But uh, right now, I'm only using 40 pounds, so I've got a long way to go. <laughs> Blue for real. Blue for real. <laughs>
Alright, what's going on guys? Just wrapped up the workout. Uh, so like I said, you'll see there's not too much volume involved. Um, just being super effective with the couple movements that I do perform. Um, and essentially, since, since I'm hitting them twice a week, I still do get like lots of volume in, just not all at once. Um, unfortunately, the gym got pretty like packed pretty shortly after I get in there, so the audio might not be great. I have yet to get a microphone for this, um, but working on it. Um, another thing, I wanted to get um, at least one video uploaded um, explaining how to train each body part before New Year's came for you New Year's resolutioners that plan on stepping into the gym on that day. But unfortunately, just got a little more busy than I expected. Um, also, I ordered a SD card reader that I just plug the SD card in into the cord and into my phone and then it's a lot easier to import but it like the delivery was delayed by like four days or something I assume just because of the holidays and they were super busy whatever um, so that just like kind of hindered my um, like the timing because uh, it just will make uploading videos a lot a lot quicker and easier um, so I think this will conclude oh, okay one more thing sorry um, as soon as I get to 1,000 subscribers, which I'm not even close to, um, I'll do a 1,000 rep leg workout. Uh, that will obviously be pretty terrible. But uh, the sooner I get to 1K subscribers, the sooner you guys get to see me suffer through that uh, workout. Um, so do your thing. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I'll upload the next one, which will be chest and back training. Um, as soon as possible. I already have all the clips recorded like I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, so just again, thank you for watching.